In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come to us this night, O God. Come to us with light. Speak to us this night, O God. Speak to us your word. 
Dwell with us this night, O God. Dwell with us in love. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Thanks be to you, O God, for the many gifts you have bestowed on us. Each day and night, each sea and land, each weather fair, each calm, each wild. Each night, may we remember your mercy, given so gently and so generously. Each thing we have received, from you it came. Each thing for which we hope, from your love it will come. Each thing we enjoy, it is of your bounty. Each thing we ask, it comes of your disposing. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered around him, and he was by the sea. Then one of the leaders of the synagogue named Jairus came, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet and begged him repeatedly, 
my little daughter, is ill to the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, that she may be made well and live. So he went with him. And a large crowd followed him and pressed in on him. Now, there was a woman in the crowd who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. She had endured so much under many physicians and had spent all that she had, but she was no better. In fact, she grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and had come up behind him in the crowd and she touched his cloak. For she said, if I but touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately, her hemorrhaging stopped and she felt in her body that she was healed from her disease. Immediately aware that power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowds pressing in on you. How can you say who touched me? He looked around to see who it was that had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, she came in fear and trembling and fell down before him. And she told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. While he was still talking, some people came from the leader's house to say, Your daughter, she's already dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. He allowed no one to follow him except Peter, James and John, the brother of James. When they came to the house of the leader of the synagogue, he saw a great commotion. People were weeping and wailing loudly. When he had entered, he said to them, Why do you make such a commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. Then he put them all outside and he took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in to where the child was. He took her by the hand and he said to her, Talitha kum, which means, little girl, get up. And immediately the girl got up and began to walk about. She was 12 years of age. At this, they were overcome with amazement. He strictly ordered them that no one should know this and told them to give her something to eat.
O Christ the Healer, by your wounds others are made whole. By your tears sorrow is washed away. Come with kindness to those who need your touch or your time or who need to know that you remember them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Christ, the feeder, you ask for what we have in order to nourish those we tend to forget. Tonight, where people are hungry, direct not just the pity of our eyes, but our generosity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Christ, the peacemaker, stubbornness condemns us, unsure as we are to walk the road that leads to peace. Show us who science is set to militarise the galaxy, the simpler, humbler and yet more difficult path by which our warfare may be turned to welfare. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Christ, the liberator, the chains of death and hell could not hold you. Yet racism, sexism and a thousand other prejudices ensnare your people. Where humanity cries out against inhumanity, and where nature mourns for its lost good, deliver us from evil. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Christ the stranger, you meet us when we are not ready for you. You stand or sit with those we avoid. You knock on the door we are hesitant to open. You say the word we are reluctant to hear. Come, where you are kept at arm's length, and take the hand that needs to hold you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we believe that you are God. We believe that you are true to your promise to answer the prayers of your people. In us, through us, and despite us, let the fabric of our world be transformed into the shape of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Be present, O God and guard us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, no.